In this video, we're going to go over the, uh, the, the feature section here on the, the, glow, the, the, grow, the glow color here and the raised animation as well as this is an image and we'll show how to use an icon instead. And then we'll also be covering the blog hover effects here. So let's jump in here. All right, so this is the home page. Uh, so let me go ahead and jump over to that page. And the easiest way to recreate any of these is just to, you know, right click and right click on these sections and copy them and then go in and, uh, and then paste them somewhere and then go in and edit them. Um, or there is a WordPress plugin that I use called uh, Duplicate Post. And what this does, and I think I might even have it, oh, I don't have it on here. Um, I do have it on I believe I have it on, on this site but basically what it does is it gives you gives you a clone option and wow that's really taking a long time there we go it gives you this clone option when you're looking at poster pages so there'd be a clone option that shows up. Let me see if I can, can find it here. Yeah, you, you click clone and then it makes a, a draft exact copy of that page. So for example, when I was making the platform page, it's so similar to the home page that I would just clone the home page, change the platform, make sure I change the URL up here, and, uh, and that would be good to go. So here we have the proven strategy section, which has the idea of features. And basically, I'm going to copy this bottom feature here and just look at it. So this one's called the timing one here, this guy right here. And you can see that this URL options is a typical blurb module. But we're not using an icon here. We're using an image instead. And the image... Um, is, is uh, just an icon image there because sometimes if I say use icon sometimes the icons I want to use aren't in here and I use uh, I use the noun project a lot I'm actually uh, paid to get their app um, this drag and drop app is super nice but they just have tons of, of icons so for example if I said uh, timing um, they're just going to have so many more icons available than than would the Divi the Divi font. So sometimes you can use an image, um, or there are tutorials out there that show you how uh, how you can use Font Awesome in your Divi projects. Um, that's uh, I'm a member, so it's going to let me go ahead and log out. Hmm. Let's see if I can't get to the Font Awesome page. Here we go. .io. Of course, it's .io. And uh, let's see, yeah, they're getting ready to release a new version, but they just have tons of icons that you could use as well. And there's tutorials. If you Google, you know, Divi Font Awesome, uh, and look, look like I saw a plugin too that might work. Yeah, so there's there's ways to do that, but we'll say yes here, and we'll just grab, you know, the heart icon here, and we'll pick a nice heart color here, like so. There we go. Just to show you that we can use an icon with this. There's our icon. So, and that would behave just like any uh, any regular uh, blurb, blurb would. Even the icon font size here, we can take that. I thought that was a little big. We can take it down, preview it. 
maybe. That looks better. But we're not going to keep that. That was just to show we could use an icon. What I'm more interested in is how to change the color of the hover effects and what's going on there. So I'm going to go ahead and inspect this. See what's going on here. Actually, I'm going to pick this one over here. That way. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and close that one up. Okay, so this guy over here, we have a blurb here. And let's see if I hover over the blurb. Some things happen. So right now my box shadow is set to zero 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 and the color is set to looks like some kind of a, a, a blue but all the way down to zero opacity. I, I could even if I change this, it's not gonna be there because I would have to start growing this here. So that's set to zero and then my color was set to zero as well. And then you'll notice when I hover, you get this, this box shadow here, zero pixels. This first number is the left and right part. So if I did 50 here, you see how it slides over? So I normally do zero on that. This is the, the vertical part. So if it's set to zero, it's going to be uh, in the middle. Um, I, like, I liked 50 for this one, I think it was at. Or you could do negative 50, you want it to be up top. Eighty is the is how wide it's gonna be. So if I take this down to to ten, you kind of see how the blurriness of it. Zero is gonna give me a hard line there. Like so. So if you had this coupled with this, that's kind of the typical drop shadow. Uh, we'll go back to 80, and then of course we here we have our our color that we want to use and the strength of the color, uh, you know, 0 0.5, 0 0.0, whatever, 0 0.1, 0 0.2 seemed about right. You can see this is on line 316 of our style sheet. So let me scroll down to 316. And here we go. Here's the regular, and then here's the hover state. So you would just go in here and change the color, and it would it would change. And then likewise for the blog posts, same kind of deal. I'm going to go ahead and grab this guy and inspect it. And let me see if it's on the article or the, yeah, I think it's on the article hover. Let's find out. Yeah. So here's the article regularly. And if I hover, you'll see that it adds this blog grid hover line 370 so not too far off from where we were here's the blog section uh, so here's the post normally which is like so a subtle shadow on that so that's where you change that shadow and then here's the hover right here and you would change that color and that would change the hover. And then this this color here is actually being changed in the actual blog grid in the layout. There's um, oh it's on this first one. Here it is. Header overlay color and overlay icon color, and we're using the link. So that's what that is right there. And then going back up here to the blogs or to the features. Uh, I wanted to hit one more thing on there. Let me go ahead and inspect this. Hover. Uh, features 316. Okay. You'll see this top negative 10 on hover and top 0. So regularly it's got top of 0. And then this code here, um, basically I'll, I'll kind of demonstrate this here. So let me unhover that hover this, and I'm just going to turn off all of the transition. So now you'll see when I hover, when I hover over it, it's just immediate. There's no, there's no easing into it, and um, this transition helped make that smooth. And then the top zero and the 
top negative 10, that's what's moving it up. So if I remove that, now it's just gonna it's just gonna highlight in place. So you might want that, um, or you can turn that back on. And you'll see it's jumpy right there, like the shadow's fading in, but the position's not. And that's because our negative 10 that we've set here on the regular one, it needs to have top zero. It needs a starting point in order for it to smooth, to be smooth like that. So that's how to work the features and then the blog hover stuff down here. And like I said, this, this color glow is getting pretty popular. Um, so yeah, with a little bit of effort, you can change the colors of this whole theme. And then I would recommend changing those hover colors of the blog and the features as well, just to tie it all together. All right, so the next video, we're gonna talk about how we added these extra animations that normally do not come with Divi, like that text fading in, that these buttons fading in. Um, that's the next video. I've actually done a video like this before. So I may just reference that one, but we'll see you in the next video.